Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How-To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at how to fix your drivers with NVIDIA graphics cards. Keep watching, find out more. Okay, so in today's video is going to be a revisit to a topic which we've actually addressed uh, a number of times, but being that Windows 11 is about to come out, and some of you are still experiencing problems and we're still getting questions on the previous videos, I figured it'd be a good idea to do an update and to give you a little bit more information and try and address some of those questions. So first of all, let's get some ground rules straight. First of all, we are going to be installing a NVIDIA graphics card driver. There's certain things you will need. A working system will be ideal. Obviously, if you're having graphics problems, then yeah, we can accept that you don't have a working graphics driver, so that's okay, but you will need things like internet access and all those kinds of things. Also as well, you'll need some storage space on a hard drive or a USB stick to download some programs to actually help us fix the driver issues. So what driver issues could you be experiencing? Well, there's many things. It could be just random things, random lockups. It could be black screens in Chrome, all those kinds of things. Possibly when you're trying to install the existing drivers, you're getting error messages, which will pop up on the screen saying that it cannot be installed or no hardware detected, all those kinds of things. So we'll try and address them all in one fell swoop. Some of the things you will need caveat wise is obviously you will need the latest driver for your particular graphics card. If you've got a standalone card or a discrete card such as this one, then it's a relatively straightforward thing to do. You can head over to the NVIDIA website and download the drivers there. If you've got a laptop or some other customized device which has a custom graphics driver, then of course you'll need to go to the original manufacturer of that device and download the specific drivers they have. This is where the problem does sometimes kick in as some manufacturers don't regularly update their drivers so potentially you may have to try and use the standard nvidia ones but if those don't work do revert back to those manufacturer ones from either dell hp etc etc so with that out of the way let's get on and take a look at it so we're on windows 11 as you can probably tell already this is the pre-release version so you may be on windows 10 possibly even slightly older versions but Pretty much most of it is the same kind of thing. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure the system is relatively clean. Now, one way of doing that is to go into your device manager, which is here. And once it does, what we want to do is click on view and then we're going to go into show hidden devices. Now, this is pretty important as there can be some conflicts with existing drivers which may be on the system. So the first one to do is to look at your display adapters, which is this one here. And as you can see on this particular one, there are two which are greyed out and one which isn't. So the one which is actually in use at the moment is the RTX 2060 Super and we've also got the greyed out one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the X there to uninstall device. You can attempt to remove the driver for this device if you want to. Ours is currently working so I'm actually going to leave that as it is. But we'll just click on install there. And this is the previous graphics card which was installed which was a GTX 1060. This is no longer in the system so we can quite happily get rid of that to prevent any kind of uh, issues or problems going forward. So click on uninstall device. We won't attempt to remove the driver, of course, again, you can if you wish to. So we'll click on uninstall there. Next thing to do is, because you could potentially having problems with your monitor, so go through into monitors and look at whichever ones you've got connected. You may have various monitors there which are not in use. Now we are actually using the Acer H274HL, so we can leave that, and it's also trying at the moment to use the generic PMP one. If there's any monitors listed in here, which you don't currently have connected to your system, please remove those in the same way. So again, just highlight it, click on the X. You can, if you want to, attempt to remove driver for this device and then click uninstall. As we again, we are recording this with OBS. If I uninstall the drivers there, it could cause problems with the actual screen recording. So I'm gonna leave those as they are. Generic PMP monitor is normally fine. And again, that is the one we normally use. So I'm gonna leave that. So anything which is other than what you've actually got on your system, do remove from here. So that is that part of it done. The next thing to do is to download some software programs. So the first one we're going to want to do is to download a new updated version of the NVIDIA driver. So let's head over to nvidia.com and at the top here we can choose drivers and the next part is to choose your specific card. So we're actually using a GeForce card which is the RTX 2060 Super. So we're going to choose this one RTX 20 series there are different versions for notebooks and discrete graphics, so do, again, make sure you select the right graphics card. And then choose your version, so ours is 2060 Super. We're using Windows 11, but currently there is two options, so 64 and 11, so we're going to just go ahead with Windows 11 on this particular one, but you may choose Windows 10 if you're using Windows 10. 
Next you've got two options, so you can have the game ready driver or you can use the studio driver. Generally the studio driver tends to be slightly more stable, but is more intended for people who actually kind of work for a living on their PC, so if you're using things like Premiere, Blender, etc. But we're going to choose the game ready driver because that is going to be the more flexible one and also means we can play games and have a little bit more control and flexibility in the control panel. So once you're done with that, click on search and then it will show the latest version. So this one at the moment is 472.12, which is a WHQL driver, which is the Windows Hardware Quality Labs control driver. So we can go ahead and download that one. Click on download and then we can save it to a suitable place. So I'm just going to save it to the desktop and we can let that carry on doing its thing. The next thing we're going to get is DDU, which uh, you can see I've already searched for here. So just type in DDU and we want the display driver uninstaller. Links for all this stuff will be in the video description, so if you uh, can't find it, then just head down to those details. I choose to use the Guru 3D one, never caused me any problems before. And then we can scroll down to the bottom of this page, and you've got various download locations. Now, before in a previous video, I said it's probably best to get the one which is more uh, native to yourself. But realistically now, all of these come with their own language packs, so get it pretty much wherever you want to. I'm going to choose the Netherlands, even though I don't speak that language, but it is an EU one. I could use Germany or whatever, but yeah, again, choose whichever one is suitable for your particular needs or is available. Sometimes the mirrors will be down. Scroll down through, and there we go. Eventually it'll come up. So it downloads it as a WinZip archive. So you are going to need something like WinRAR or just use Windows built-in extraction tool. Again, we're going to save this to the desktop, and that is pretty much it for the downloads. So we can close these windows, and we've got both of our things on the desktop here. Now, something which you should definitely do before you go ahead, because Windows drivers and the Windows operating system version are generally interlinked, what you want to do is to make sure you've got all of your Windows updates. So in order to do that, click on the Start flag or Start button, and go into your Settings cog, and then go to Windows Update, and just check for updates, making sure that you're fully up to date. If you've got a load of updates to do on this, then go ahead, do all of those. If you're asked to reboot, reboot whenever requested. And then again, check for updates just to make sure you're on the very latest version of Windows, which will then hopefully synchronize well with the drivers we're downloading. So we're all good here. We're up to date, so we can close this window. So now we can get on and do the actual driver clearing. So the first thing to do is to extract the folder here. So we'll choose Extract All, and then Extract, which we'll put onto the desktop, which will give us another folder to extract again. So click on DDU, and again, it will want to extract, so click on Extract, and then that gives us yet another folder. Inside this folder will be the Display Driver Uninstaller, and other things like Licenses, README, etc., etc. Now, really, you should be using this in safe mode, if at all possible. It's not entirely necessary, generally it works quite well within the Windows environment, but if you want to, you can go ahead and restart your computer in safe mode, and then go back to the desktop and find this display driver uninstaller. If you're not too sure how to get to safe mode, an easy way of doing it is to click on the start flag, click on the power icon, press and hold the shift key, and then choose restart. Keep on holding the shift key until you get a message on the screen. We'll actually try that now. So hold the shift key, Click on Restart, keep holding down that Shift key, keep on holding it, and you should get a Please Wait, or it may go straight into the kind of Recovery Console. So this is what comes up, so you get Choose an Option, Continue, so you can boot straight into Windows 10, although technically this is 11, but anyway. You want Troubleshoot, so click on Troubleshoot, and then you Advanced Options, and then you can go to Startup Settings, and this gives you the option to restart, to change Windows options such as. So we want to enable safe mode. So we'll click on restart now. So now we get the startup settings menu. So we're gonna choose number four, which is enable safe mode. Type in your user credentials and then you'll come up with essentially a black screen and limited drivers running in the background, all that kind of stuff. So now we're gonna head back into the uh, Guru 3D folder, into the DDU V18. And this is the one we're looking for again, the display driver uninstaller. So right click and then choose run as administrator. And you'll come up with the information saying this seems to be the first time you launch DDU. 
So just have a read through those and make sure you agree with the terms, etc. So this is our general options. You can pretty much leave all of that entirely as it is. It's absolutely fine. And the next part is actually getting rid of the drivers itself. So what we we'll to do on the right hand side here, select the device type. So we are GPU and it's detected NVIDIA defaulted. You can of course choose AMD or Intel. So if you're using AMD graphics card or an Intel graphics card, then you can choose those should you wish to, but we're on NVIDIA for this particular video. So let's go ahead and start that up. So you've got the option for clean and restart, which is the one they recommend. You've got clean and do not restart and you've got clean and shut down. So if you're installing a new graphics card, this is the one you should choose. If you're just trying to fix graphic issues or driver issues, then choose clean and restart. Now, if you are on a ethernet connection or you're on a Wi-Fi connection, ideally, if you can, you want to disable these or simply just unplug your ethernet cable to prevent you having access to the internet. Reason for this is because Windows will try and automatically update the driver by itself once it's rebooted because it doesn't know what the graphics card is so it's going to try and search it so ideally we want to disable that so i'm going to go ahead now and i'm going to unplug my ethernet cable and now i can choose clean and restart so now it's going to run some scripts and do some cleanup just be patient let it do what it wants to do and then it should restart when it's done we will notice actually at some point there it does say monitors and hidden monitors removed so the previous bit we did in device manager Pretty much will be done here anyway, but I prefer just to try and do it myself just to make sure that it's actually been done. And there we go, it's eventually it's restarting. Again, at this point, ideally have your Ethernet disconnected and Wi Fi disabled if at all possible. So now we're back into Windows 11, as you can see from the desktop. You may find that your display resolutions and all that kind of stuff is uh, a little bit messed up now, but don't worry about it, it's absolutely fine. So the next thing to do is to actually install the drivers themselves. If we go into Device Manager, you'll probably notice that Windows seemed a little bit more laggy. And we've got things like PCI device, which has not been installed, which is probably gonna be part of our audio. And also we've got display adapters, which should now say, the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. Because we've removed, removed the drivers, then it won't install anything else. And because we're disconnected from the internet, that's gonna be absolutely fine. So you can, if you want to, you can leave that open and you can actually watch the changes pretty much in real time. So now we can click on the installation for the drivers, choose run as administrator. And because smart screen can't be reached because you're offline, then you've got the option to override it. So you click on run. You should get the user account control come up, so we'll click on yes. And you can choose where the driver is going to be saved. I would leave these as the defaults. Click OK and it will start the installation and the extraction process. So the next part is the options for whether you want to use the graphics driver and the GeForce experience or whether you just want to go with the graphics driver. Entirely up to you, whichever you do. I'm going to just choose the graphics driver and then you have to agree and continue. And then we get the choice for installation options, Express, which is the recommended one, which upgrades existing drivers and retains current NVIDIA settings, or Custom. And you can go and make individual changes, and also you can choose things such as individual parts of the USB Type-C driver, PhysX driver, etc., etc. And also you can perform a clean installation. Now, because we've done DDU, this isn't entirely necessary, so we're just gonna go back and we're going to choose the express version for simplicity. Click on next and then it'll go into the preparing to install. If for some reason when you're actually doing this it still comes up with an error you can if you want to go through all the same procedures but then choose the clean install version if you're getting issues but I think 99% of most people will find that this actually will fix it as we're doing now. So now it's installing the graphics driver Again, just be patient, let it do its thing. Ideally, don't do anything else on your computer while this is happening. Uh, if you can, shut down any other programs which are running, that's also a good idea. Again, at this point, we uh, don't want to be connected to the internet, so make sure your ethernet cable is still disconnected and that your Wi-Fi is also disabled, should you have it. So the screen may go blank every now and then, and it'll also install other drivers. And it looks like our device manager 
There we go. Device Manager now is still going through and we've changed it now to NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super and we've also got our audio devices installed as well. So yeah, no unknown devices or exclamation marks. So that's absolutely brilliant. So click on close. And I would just for safety's sake now, just do a quick reboot. And in between the rebooting, you can plug back in your ethernet cable so you can log back into Windows correctly. Okay, so there we are. There is the NVIDIA graphics card driver fully reinstalled and a nice clean system to work with. This in theory, should remove pretty much all of your problems, especially things like uh, error codes, all that kind of stuff. If you're still getting error codes come up, I would strongly suggest uh, copy and paste them or just make a note of them and then do a quick Google just to see what the, uh, the general consensus is. Sometimes, as with all things, hardware can fail. At which point, if this doesn't work, it's always strongly recommended. Again, Google the problem, see what it comes up. And if you can, take the graphics card out of the machine, put it into another system, maybe another computer if you're lucky enough to have more than one, or friends, or even take it to a local repair shop and get them to try it and just say, is this graphics card okay? Before you start doing other things like trying to flash BIOSes and all that kind of stuff. Of course, if you want to, potentially if your card's been used for mining of some sort or for some other purpose, and someone has flashed a non-standard BIOS onto it, and it's a card you've just picked up, then potentially that is something we also should look at. Uh, we will be doing a look at that in a follow-up video. So if you want to see how that goes, don't forget to stay subscribed and you'll see how that goes for us later on. But I think for most people, that should have fixed your problems. If it hasn't, feel free to drop me a line or join our Discord chat and we can try and go through the process and see if there's anything else we can do for you. But yeah, that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.